Hi, Mike Sims recently did a tu uh, tutorial on uh, recreating J.R.R. Tolkien's, um, the author of Lord of the Rings, um, the logo that they use in that uh, in Zara 3D. Uh, it's a very good tutorial and I thought uh, it might help with a video tutorial as well. Anyway, I'll give it a bash and see how it goes. Right, first and foremost we have to open uh, Zara 3D, you've got the Zara 3D screen there. The first thing we have to do is to hit on the um, show, or, show or hide cursor icon. Um, it's all a bit squashed for space here, so you'll have to forgive me if you kind of lose a bit. Right, if you click on that, you get this eye beam just in the screen. Um, that's the, the cursor. Um, of selected the text as he did in his um, tutorial of Felix uh, can't actually see what that's tilting is it anyway that's that's the font we've moved I'll have to move this across the side a bit and then if you type um, capital J then hit the return key or enter key whichever you call it then capital R capital R again hit the return key uh, and then hit um, A R R T, isn't it and I'll just uh, knock the uh, cursor off for a minute and there you can see this J-R-R-T is um, what we're after. Um, his next move then, you have to excuse me a minute. I'm still here, don't worry, I haven't got away. The first thing that he says to do is to, um, with nothing selected, set the swing animation as shown all right so we're going to open up the swing uh, bring in our animation options here um, we're going to set this to swing two um, we're going to make it four frames per cycle we're going to make it one frames per second no pause um, angle is zero and we just set these two as they are okay so that's the animation set there okay um, now the next thing we have to do is then select the, the cur show hide cursor again and the show hide cursor and for the people that don't know if you use the arrow keys and just click on the left arrow go left 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 and I'm going right 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 Okay, but at the same time, if you hit the shift key and go left, it actually selects that T. As you can see, um, it's highlighted and it's changed colour. I'll deselect it by hitting right again. Um, some people seem to get confused about this, but it, it's only very similar to what actually happens in word processing packages. Anyway, he says we've got to select the, the first R, so you go left, left, left with the arrow keys. Now that's the second R, the first R that is I want to select so I hit the hold down the shift key and go left you can now see that that R is now selected it's changed color from a blue to a, a goldy brown color um, now we have to change that animation this time um, it's still swing to animation but we're going to put in a value of 360 degrees we put in 360 degrees and absolutely nothing happens what have we done wrong we say basically you haven't done anything wrong what you have to do now is move the uh, timeline along from frame w one to frame two and now you can see that the R has reversed gone through 360 degrees and if you actually hit on the um, play button you can see that the R as it goes from frame one two three four one two three four reverses each time so I'll stop that now and I'll move it back into frame two so that's the the first part of the thing done we've changed the R and the next thing to do is to start adjusting the positions of the other letters okay um, now we've got to select the T so again we sit select the cursor bar we want to select the T so we hold down the shift key and move left it's now selected I have to excuse me now because I've got now going to start stretching this and when I stretch it you because it's set to width that actually you start to lose some of the um, 
it scales to the screen and, and you, you lose some of the information that you, I really need to show you. Um, okay, so I've selected the T and he says to, to, to adjust the font size to 120 degrees. So I'm just going to have to move this left a bit here. And it says line spacing, tracking, font size. No, it doesn't font size there. Font size, and I've got to change that to 120. So I click in there and type 120. Okay. So that's fine. Now I have to deselect that. I'm going to shut just move this window back again so down to its former size so you can see everything click the cursor bar I don't want the T I'm going left 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 I want to select the J so I hold down the shift key and with the left key the J is selected and this time it says to adjust the font size to 150 so I'm going to just open this up a bit Type in there 150, that's 150. Okay, um, now I'm going to deselect everything. It says deselect everything, and then, um, then with the cursor off, change the line size to 0%. And again, well, I'm going to have to open up here, I'm afraid. So I move around. And line size, it actually means I think in this tutorial, line spacing. Click on that move that down like that so that line spacing is now zero percent i'll click this down here reduce that down there and there you have the they are tolkien's reproduced logo and i think you'll admit that's very clever isn't it um one of the things you have to remember and bear in mind is that these um, values aren't set in stone and a lot of it depends on a font if you try to use the um, times new roman font you'll find that those settings won't uh, the 120 percent and 150 percent won't work but that's worth remembering and uh, i hope you enjoyed that